Okay, track hacker uh, readers. Here is my finished mantis and one of my uh, readers slash members, JT, colleague of mine, who was uh, nice enough to lend me his laptop with a parallel port and a joystick. Unfortunately, as I indicated uh, on my blog, on the track hacker, I uh, blew out my parallel port and I'm currently waiting for a parallel port card to arrive. So, here we have Mach 2 uh, currently up and running and going to see if I can hold the camera steady and activate the Mantis, which is now currently coming away, and so there it is. There's X axis moving back and forth, and the Y table. I've got Softwell and it's enabled. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of clearance between the bit coupler here and the table, the Y table. But just enough. And one of the other cool things that you can do with Mach that you can't do easily with Mach 3, or you could do with Mach 2 that you can't do with Mach 3, is see if I can do all this at once. use a joystick. You can use pendants the Mach 3, but you know, they're expensive and not, you know, not as easy as a USB joystick. Or as inexpensive as a USB joystick. So, there you have it. They have a moving Mantis. Uh, one more thing I probably should do here is just to be thorough is activate my spindle So, there we go. So uh, now I'm just uh, working on getting the Mach 2 settings done and, you know, and everything set up. I think I'm just about ready to go on some uh, G-code and hopefully be etching something. Um, I have all the code, thanks to JT, and support files that I need for doing the Fabio Arduino clone. Um, that uh, David Carr used in his Mantis for his drivers. Uh, I'm not using those, but uh, since I have a lot of other railroad, model railroad Arduino projects in line, uh, I figured a Fabio would probably be a pretty good fit. So there you go, and uh, thank you everybody uh, for the great interest in the Mantis, and we'll have some updates on some cutting uh, fairly soon. Thank you.